Right, Snarlkin, so welcome back to the second segment of BFA's On The Ball Show. And as promised, we are going to look through the CFL results right now. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Uh, lots has happened. And I think today was um, a big day in the CFL, uh, if, if there is such a thing. Um, uh, one team has been looking to romp and go walk away with the league, but there was a bit of an upset. Let's look at some of the results, as you can see it on the screen right now. Um, uh, I'm going to run through them. Uh, we've been playing Tuesday night and Friday nights as well, I think, just to play a bit of a catch because the weather's been letting us down. So, um, on Tuesday night, Autotunas beat Shadwell at Stepney 2-1. And then on Friday, Newark took on East 1. Um, they won that game 2-1. Uh, and then back to today. So, the results from today, we've got Newham Tigers took on Abah Abahani FC and they Newham losing 2-1. Newark, I think this was probably the surprise of the day. Uh, maybe not, but the one of two. Uh, Newark losing 3-2 to Inspire. Shadwell beating Aberfeldy, B team 4 1. Ottotunas beating Mohammedan 5 0. Uh, Saya losing to East 1 5 2. And uh, I think the result of the day has to be uh, Schoff's Bernardo's beating Aberfeldy 1 0, who were up until now unbeaten and with a 100% record. So that's a massive, massive shock. So if we look at the league table now, you can see. That what that means to the league table is Aberfeldy still sitting pretty at the top of the table on four, with 14 games on 39 points. Um, they do have a game in hand over Autotunas, who are second on 33, followed closely by East One, who have played two more games than themselves than Autotunas on 31 points. So the league really looks like it's going to be contested. Autotunas are probably the only team that can challenge unless Aberfeldy you know, lose. A few more points and let East one in as well. So I'm going to bring in the main man Reggie himself into this. Reggie, um, is it doable? Is Aberfeldy catch? Are they catchable? Um, no. For what reason they're not catchable? Because um, I made already the um, the calculation. So oh, I can take them. You can take them. I can take them. You're, you're going to beat them. But but <laughs> I'm not going to lose. And I'm not going to lose any more games. You're I'm not going to lose any more games. I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to lose any more games. Look down that street. Look, down, thing, that, look yeah. down that. Tell about that. But the <laughs> thing. But the thing is because I already so I uh, I stopped my players playing uh, Sunday. They cannot. Uh, uh, take you want to tell me. what? You want to tell people what happened last time you played Aberfield? Oh yeah. So um, myself and my captain, my assistant manager, Indri. So we was uh, with six of our, our players uh -huh. playing Saturday in uh, um, uh, uh, con uh, Olympia... Um, uh, Olympia League, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Essex Olympia League. So, which is a uh, higher level mm -hmm. than uh, yeah, Excel, to be yeah. honest. And uh, we was playing with all parks uh -huh. team. So I used to play for them 17 years. Okay. And Sunday as well. Mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday training, Thursday training with my uh, guys as well. But um, now I stop my main players to play the Saturday instead of myself. I can't stop it because yeah. I've been 17 years there. And Aberfield, they're never going to find me in that situation in the first game. No. Okay. So, so when do you play Aberfield? 19th of February. All right. That's a, that is that's a Sunday? Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. That's a Sunday. So that's literally, yeah. what, two weeks away? Two weeks away, yeah. So for you, that's the that is the big. So you, in, in between that, you've got one but game. But they are uncatchable. I can't catch them because I don't think I don't see even if they lose one or two more games. Yeah. I already lost four. I done my calculation. They are champions of this year. And okay. I will so potentially, right? They're they're gonna lose to you. So that's one result. Yeah. Okay. Now they also have to play East you One. You still got Shadwell. We're quite good. So yeah. They might give a good game on them. So it's. Yeah. I'm talking about only my team. Yeah. <laughs> so what I can do myself, you know, that's it's why my calculation hard. is being already done. So I can't catch them up. Okay, you, you don't think you can catch them, but you will beat them in your next game. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. That is definitely. We, I'm going to hold you to that. And um, <laughs> at the Aberfoldy boys, I'm sure they'll be watching. Um, and they might have something to say about that because um, I think that their target was to go unbeaten for the season. So that's gone by the by side. I think now the next target is obviously complete the job. And. Um, he set you a challenge. He thinks he's going to beat you guys. So on the 19th of Feb, let's see what happens. Um, I think we'll all be there watching that one. Uh, you're going to beat you. So there's no excuse. You will have your strongest team out. I will. You will. All right, that's good. All right, um, let's look through some of these results. Okay, first of all, uh, your result on Tuesday night. Tell us a bit about Shadwell. What do you think about Shadwell? We, we, we played... You beat them 2-1. Yeah, we, we won 2-1 just about. <laughs> 
because they did create quite a lot of chances as well. And they're a good side, you know, they played good football. And um, so obviously we, sh we should have won a couple of more, by a couple of more goals, but obviously being in a position, you know, because it was raining, slippery, and 3G, mm. the pitch was big. How did you find playing on the 3G pitch? Do you prefer playing on 3G to grass? Well, a lot in, in one way, it's a lot more because obviously you can you can you can you can pass it. You've got more more better ways of playing on a Sunday league, whereas mm. the, the 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 pitch is a bit bumpy, mm. and the control is a lot better, and it's a it's slightly more faster football. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, Okay. The result so turned out in, to be You mentioned quite good. Shadwell. You said they've got a player to Tunis as yet. In, I'm sorry, uh, Aberfeldy. Aberfeldy. Uh, yeah. If uh, for, if Nasser is here, in terms of Shadwell, if, I've, if we say let's we've got a game against, what are Shadwell's key strength? In your opinion, <sighs> they they got good um, defensive. They're good. They 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 attacking the ball. They can be dangerous, and they they quite a strong team because mm. they work. They won't they won't let go until the last minute. They work hard as a team, okay. And you know, it's it's it's, it's a football, so you never know. They could they could end up beating uh, up a fieldy, which is quite tough because, as we know, they 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 top of the league. They only lost one, mm. so we're okay. hoping to win the next one against them. Right. Let's talk a bit about Newark FC. Friday night they took on East One. I think this was probably a bit of a surprise. I don't know Reggie or Enam's team played uh, them at, on Friday. What you you like Newark? You think they're a young, young? Yeah, you know? they are. They are. To be honest with you, they are. Real, they are a good team. They never give up. They are fast players, young players. They they are a bit, you know, meow 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 <laughs> always, you know, and uh, they try to get you uh, uh, out of the mood, uh -huh. especially you know, it's, it's, it's part it's of the game. But yeah. with the, you know, but doesn't matter. That is part of the game. So they they try to get the yellow cards, red cards, and everything. They done it to me last time actually. So uh, it works. two two yeah, it, it works because two work. players. I, they got my <laughs> goalkeeper out and uh, um, one of my um, my strikers out with uh, two red cards. Of course they beat me. So I couldn't say nothing. Last minute. So they, how they beat you as well. Yeah, three. Uh, uh, four or two wow. last minute but my goalkeeper won uh, with the red card so which is but it's um, I don't think they could do it to me again so no one's I'll beating wait, you this, I'll, this half, I'll wait I'll wait for word to play them in 21st yeah and shows who's the team who deserve the semi-final okay so let, while we're on that topic 21st now 19th is a big game league game versus Aberfeldy now 21st once again on a Tuesday night at Stepney on 3G you're gonna play a team that's very fast, young, in your face. You struggled with them last time, not just footballing wise, but That's mentally right. they got into your yeah. heads. Um, who's it going to suit on that, playing on 3G on a big pitch? You or them? Oof. Well, I got uh, I got lots of uh, talent player. To mm. be honest with you, I can uh, I can just change a technical. Oh well, yeah. That's what I can do. I can't say no more. <laughs> I don't want to say no more. <laughs> Reggie, you're cracking me up. <laughs> 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 All right. In, 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 yourself, in terms of Newark, what's your take on them? Obviously, they're, they're, they're good young, talented team. Good uh, young, talented team. Manager. They, well, but you've, that's a big one for you guys. Yeah, the opportunity we'll, to get to a cup final. That's right. We've got everything to throw in. We've got all the, the best players to pick up, the best team, the best 11 mm -hmm. to stick and just give it a good go and have a good match to go through. Obviously, last time they beat us, we didn't have um, the first choice keeper, mm -hmm. and some of the players they were injured, and um, like myself as well. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, they, they they got us on the, on the, on a on the bad side. If it would have been different day, it would have been different game. But you know, their game is you know winding them up each time. It, it happens yeah. in football. It happens. Okay. All you got to do is just keep your head professionally in the game. Yeah. Get the result the you want, take your chances, exactly, as you say, you and obviously get the result. It's you know not I'm, I'm looking forward to the 19th and the 21st. I'm not sure which one I want to attend, <laughs> but I think um, the one the one new art game on the 21st might be a bit interesting. Semi-final as well. Right. I think they I think they're going to give you a game personally. I I, yep. I, 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 think know, I, I think I know that, that could be one I of know, your tougher I, games. I know new art train there. There uh, every Friday nights and. Um, yep. Like I think it could suit them, especially if there's a bit of rain yeah, as well. That's right. Uh, you you could be in for a bit of a game, and I think what what the other semi final is between Aberfeldy and East one. East, East one. one. So again, whoever you get, two, four of the best teams in this particular league. That's the, true. Whatever whoever is in the final, it's going to be a good final. 
Right. So is there anyone, let's, let's say for argument's sake, you get to the final, is there any team that you would prefer to play? Um, to be honest with you, I want to play um, Anam's team. Anam's team, East one. East one, yeah. <laughs> Prove a point. Have you played East one yet this season? Oh, of course, yeah. And we beat them 4-0. Oh, okay. <laughs> we love him on the final segment. And, uh, and he's, he's somewhere but, in the background. But he can say, uh, Alan is my best friend, actually. So yeah. and He can say, so he wasn't there. He missed. Okay. But the players was there. <laughs> but I organised that game such a good yeah. that I say to any of my players who hold the ball, and plays for himself, I'm going to get them out, straight away. Yeah. And they were scared, <laughs> and they play brilliant football. <laughs> <laughs> All right, OK. Uh, moving on to today's game. Now, you played Mohamedan. Now, tell us what's going on at Mohamedan. Uh, because they, this uh, is a, they're a good fo they've got good players. Now, when yeah, we talk about talented players, uh, you talk about Mohamedan. I will tell you about them. To be honest with you, I, they are a good team, and i got big respect for them, actually. But if they turn on... If they turn, the, the big problem with them is because they don't turn on. Mm. They are, um, they are good, and I, I wouldn't say you know it was a lucky mm. um, win because I was for what like to play for them, and I say, listen, I, I can give you some of my players just to make a game uh, on going on. Doesn't matter. That's uh, cheeky. Yeah, but you can't matter, say that you know, to the opposition. No, no, no I'm just like, <laughs> just a joke. That's a joke. Even if they don't turn on. Well, and the scoreline was a joke. But, uh, but, Five nil. But, but the thing is, that because all, all I, I play, I play my, my second team. You played your second team yes. and you won five nil. Yes, I play, right. I, I, I didn't play my first defense. Four, dif um, uh, four of my defenders. There was definitely only one was in. I mean, uh, how, how are you? Uh, how are you only second? Now have you lost four games? You talk with so much confidence. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, Reggie, I <laughs> Reggie. I think you're going to win this league, myself. No way. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. Uh, Losing may, those four I may, games I may, was... I may, I may think about on next the first year. Few games, did, you, did you underestimate not the opposition? Prepared. Is that what happened? How did you lose four games? Uh, I told you. So we lose the four games because uh, two times I don't have no keeper. He's injured and being keeper. He never played keeper. Uh -huh. But my keeper uh -huh. doesn't turn on. When your keeper doesn't turn on, and two red cards. So of in the game, that's why I lost the games. And and uh, the, the, um, myself, my opinion, it was the best game. It was just before uh, Christmas time with uh, um, Brick Lane. I lost that game 3 2. But, but to be honest with you, I have six hit in the bar <laughs> and eight times hit in the post. So, and three, four, four times, tap, tap, tap with keeper. Uh -huh. So, they couldn't take the chances. When you cannot take the chances, that's, of that's, course. that's football, they isn't it? That's, that's football. And after, of course, we lose because they score 18 minutes, three goals. Wow. They find us late, I don't know, but we come back. So, 3 <laughs> 2, but we, we all these chances, in 56 minutes, we score the second goal. And we have uh, all, we have 34 uh, minutes, bang, bang, we couldn't take the, sc the chances, chances to score, that's why. Ah, well, football, yeah, you see, it's a yeah. funny old game. Right, right, Nasir, we're going to come back to CFL. I think we've got Enam to come on as well. Uh, Indra, I'm gonna, I'll bring you into it in the last, in the last uh, few minutes as well, just to give your thoughts on CFL. But Nasir, I want to come back to the call. I think a brother Norman who called in and just really finish on that topic around, um, he asked, what can the Asian community give back to, to them? I think He's mentioned that his son's going for a trial in two weeks' time with Leeds, and um, he asked for a bit. I guess he's asking for help. Um, so away from what a club or what a uh, an organisation can give, what should individuals who are aspiring? Because I think we always it's an age-old problem. Like you know, he, he's Norman mentioned it that his his son is is one of few Asians that are you know yep. going to be in an academy yep. and it's, it's <coughs> difficult and it is difficult Definitely. you know we've yeah. got Arab you know as with has every other community is in yeah. terms of Arabic and classes and yeah. school work and everything but yeah. you have to make sacrifices That's right, right. Yep. so just <coughs> give people a bit of a flavor as, uh, as to what the, our counterparts let's say yeah. an, another 16 year old from a from for argument's sake from a you know from a Caucasian white family is doing that Maybe his child isn't. Is it? Is it a case of, in my in my opinion, it, if it means getting up at six, if your child needs to get up at six o'clock and go to the gym, <coughs> they're the kind of sacrifices he needs to put be putting yeah. in, right? Yeah, definitely. So just give give brother Numan just a bit of an insight into what you feel he needs to be doing. This is small yeah. changes that he could make over the coming weeks. Uh, um, I would I would definitely say what you need to consider is 
how far are you looking to take this sport? I mean, what, what kind of level do you, does your son and yourself aspire to be at? And that, that's that's where you can start making your decisions because, you know, if, if you're if, if you're going for like let's just say an academy trial, you have to understand that you're you're going to be up against like people that Leeds United, for example, have taken on as full-time academy academy players, and then there's trialists also, so you're not you're not going to be alone in that. So. Um, once you make the decision of what, what, what level you want to you want to get to or you aspire to be at, that's where you've got to start considering at that level, what are those players in particular doing? So some of them are training at least twice a week on the field, which is a combination of, let's just say, 30 minutes, 10 to 30 minutes of strength and conditioning, which involves a, 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 a warm up, a, a cool down, a strength and a speed block. And then you've got at least one and a half hours of either small-sided games, tactical gameplay, and then actual match time amongst their teammates. And on top of that, um, they, have, they have things like set pieces where they just go off for about 40 minutes the day before the game. They talk about tactics. And they also have an education part. So I'm not, I'm not expecting all of that to happen in one, in one go. But what, what I would say is, if he's getting training time and you, you think that he's getting enough contact time with the ball, with his coaches, he's playing at least one game. Now you need to start considering within his schedule, where can you fit in things that his coaches have possibly said that he needs to work on? So, for example, you, 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 you talk closely with his coach. His head coach is saying, you know what, I feel he could be faster on the flank somewhere on the right hand side. You know, he's not getting there on time or he's not being able to deliver the ball on time. OK, so now you need to, to look back and think, OK, is it speed that is something that I feel that my son could improve at? Now, if that is the case, now you need to maybe as a parent or as, as, as a responsible kid, you maybe need to look up, you know, how is speed development something that's worked on in young players? You know, what can I do off the field? Maybe if I can go out on the track and I can look at, you know, just picking up 30 metres, flying starts, see if I can drop my body mass slightly lower pick up some more acceleration what is it about acceleration that makes me faster um little things like that i'm not expecting you to get technical but i am expecting you to analyze your own performance and say you know what it is i kind of when i'm running i'm always facing upwards that's possibly why i'm slower maybe i'm, I'm looking up too much or i'm looking at the ball too much maybe there's something i need to change just within the glance or my body angle Something as simple as that may, may make differences and that's where you start off at you recognize your weaknesses and you think what can i do within the schedule that i've got to, to, to basically work on them. Okay, brilliant. Um, I think we'll, we'll talk more in the final segment. Indrit, we've only got literally a few minutes left, but in terms of, uh, we're gonna get NM on, so hopefully you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see you in the future, but just yeah. any messages <coughs> for your players, any, uh, is there anything from your own perspective, your experiences of CFL over the last couple of seasons, how have you found it, and uh, what's the plans moving forward for Tatunas? Plan is just gotta keep performing and being as a team, Play it as a team, and you know, you just keep on going because you know you never know with with the with the, with the league what's going on because obviously you see one result is you know surprises results mm. a Bernardo beating a Befield and this and that so when you go into the game what get wherever game you go into you got to be hundred percent giving it hundred percent for each one of the players. Okay, Reggie, yourself in terms of uh, aspirations. If there, I've got, in fact, I've got a good question for both of you in terms of the best team you've played to date in this league, regardless of where there are in the positions and in the tables. Uh, Reggie, yourself, who, who would you say are the most are, are the most improved side or, or the best team you've you've faced this season? Um, Aberfeld. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What makes them different to other teams? Um, they are. Uh, they, they are they are playing together. My, they, you can see them. They are playing for ages together. Mm. That's why they are a compact team. They know what they're doing, especially defense. <laughs> they are brilliant, brilliant, and mm. attacking. They are good. So they are playing passes clearly, everything. So they 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 play correct way, mm. and tactical, technical, take the chances. That's why I can say big respect for them actually. Okay, but you're gonna beat them. Yeah. I will. Okay. They know that. <laughs> they know that. I will. They know that. In they the, can't yeah. find me sleep anymore. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm wake up. A bit yeah. late, but I'm wake up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, injure it yourself. But if it's not Aberfeldy, what, what? I what, think what the team? most improvement has been um, Shadowell and New York. 
Okay. FC. These two, they'd be you know, at the start of the season. Good you know, call. Yeah, the, they wasn't as good. Mm. But they, they start picking up and they improved, which season. Which is good for you guys at now. Yeah. Right now, you need teams to beat Abafeldi. You're Although you know, right, you're yeah, relying on true. other reasons. First of all, you've got to beat, you've got to do the job. That's right. Over. You cannot lose a game. You cannot drop points between now and the end of the season. That's it. And then um, I think the key thing is now relying on the likes of East One, Shadwell, Newark. Yeah, I mean, the uh, Bernardo's have done you a massive favour yeah, today. So I think true. that's what it's about e now, isn't everybody it? Everybody in the league, whole teams, you know, they, they, they've seen surprises and they did a big favour for the, for obviously, for the ones that are second and third mm. and fourth, because they're all pushing, trying to, to get maximum as possible, pushing for the second place, and we've got to stay strong and the best performance. Otherwise, we've got Shadwell, East One, New York, which you're pushing. Yeah. And um, so yeah, hopefully we'll win on the 19th. Excellent. And uh, so listen, we're out of time for this segment. Thank you very much. appreciate it. We're getting Enam on. And so Reggie, you're, you're staying, I think. We'll get rid um, So, Endrick, you're, you're kind of, hopefully we'll get you back on in the coming months, especially yeah. maybe after the Aberfeldy game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a busy week. That I look one. forward Two to that. huge games. Potentially, yeah. when you come on the show next time, you'll, you'll have beaten Aberfeldy. And you'll be in a cup final. Yeah. Right? So let's so hope so. Thing. All right, guys. We're going right, to keep Nasir on the show. Thanks for having us. No, you're welcome. Uh, Nasir is going to stay on for the final segment. So, guys, we're, when we come back, we'll be talking to Enam as well, the CFL chair. Uh, and we'll be hopefully talking a bit more about other activities um, at BFA. And uh, we'll talk a bit more to Nasir as well in terms of what his plans are for the future. Um, and so, and if there's anyone else that want to ask any questions, please, the number at the bottom of the screen, call in and get involved in the show. Okay, guys, let's go and grab yourself a quick cup of tea or whatever you drink. We'll see you in two minutes.